Firstly, a bit about me. I'm a second generation roofer with personally over 35 years experience cleaning crap out of guttering as part of my job. In fact, I could probably start a second business right now with a higher turnover just from cleaning domestic guttering alone. With over 27 million dwellings in Britain alone, that's a huge potential problem or solution depending on which way you see it. And of course, nature is the culprit in the form of moss on roofs or leaves basically falling off trees and blocking guttering. That leaves you either chopping down the trees or paying hundreds, if not thousands, to clean your roof manually of moss, which is probably going to grow back anyway, nine times out of 10. The two most common guttered related fixes on the market today are the gutter brush, as you can see here, or the plastic gutter guard like this. The problem I've found is that the gutter guard either traps the dirt underneath it, making cleaning it five times worse than it would have been, or the water hits large leaves sat on the surface and simply just ski ramps over the top of your guttering. Brushes are just as bad, if not worse, at trapping the dirt above and below. I often recommend just getting rid of the product, which is not only an expensive waste, but it's an environmental disaster. If you think of all the logistics involved for manufacture, shipping, install, removal, and then tipping, it's literally millions and millions straight to landfill. So what do I have that's any different? Well, I've reinvented an existing product that I believe has never worked correctly. And let me show you what I've done and why I think it's better. First, let me show you a couple of common available items that we've got today. These are gutter or downpipe leaf guards, dirt guards, whatever you want to call them. They're easy to fit, they're cheap, relatively cheap anyway, but they've got one major problem. And that is that nearly every design or every design I've ever seen over filters. And that's, these filters here are basically keeping the dirt out. And the current thinking is we must filter every last micron of crap from going down the pipe. Now here's the thing that's wrong with that current thinking. This is a standard half round outlet to a domestic property and that's roughly a 60 millimeter hole. There's a pipe that goes onto the outside of that, that's the male, the female pipe goes onto the outside of that. There's a lovely sweeping bend so no crap gets caught and then you take one of these things, nothing wrong with it, but we fit it inside. This one's designed to fit right down and jam inside there. We fit inside, absolutely beautiful. But now we're simply trying to capture every last piece of moss. And the problem with that is when you're doing that, you might as well be fitting one of these things, which is a sieve. And that's just as ridiculous because if we take things to the extreme, we can capture every grain of sand and be totally done with it and block it within seconds. In fact, I've fitted one of these on a property. Whoops. Come back to it a day later and already it's clogged up to here with dirt. And you just know after six months, it will be virtually unusable. You know, it will be dripping little tiny drips through if you're lucky. And as far as I can tell, this is another design. It's another great design. It goes straight in there, fits on there. Absolutely brilliant from, from a height perspective in this profile. The minute you get to any other profile, you're done for. Let me show you. This is a deep flow or high capacity guttering. Again, you've got sweeping profile, absolutely marvelous. We get one of these things. We bang it down the hole, and now, if you can see that, it's sitting ridiculously low. If you can imagine, this is going to block so, so fast. So if we take this one out, we'll see, I'll show, quickly show you the way these things fit. These long legs here are designed to internally go down inside, so that inside they're fitting inside the pipe. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that design. And the shorter legs are stopping on that lip there. And you're always going to have one of these lips because it's a male to female. The smaller one is exactly the same design, except it hasn't got the longer legs. It's simply designed to fit straight onto that lip. So can there be an improvement made to this? Yes, I think it can. 
So this is what I've come up with. It doesn't look on the face of it remarkably different because it isn't. In this case, you've got six legs, three rather chunky legs, and then some thinner ones with five millimeter markings on the legs. And I'll explain why in a moment. But initially you can see that these gaps have been dramatically increased to let moss or particles, moss or dirt or small things that have mulched down pass straight through. There's no point having a 60 millimeter hole here and having a four millimeter hole here. That's, that's a ridiculous amount of filtering. So this cage or a gutter guard is, is going to fit in exactly the same way, but let me show you the key difference. So we'll start off with the deep flow, which is again, possibly the largest domestic gutter you're going to have. It's going to fit straight inside, straight the way. It's going to sit on there and already you can see it's, fit, it's sitting a lot higher, a lot higher within the gutter. So the legs are acting now as a filter themselves at a lower point. You have still the large, larger sections where the larger chunks are going to flow away naturally. Nice smooth edges here. Now, if you can't beat nature, you're not going to beat nature. There's always going to be moss, there's always going to be leaves, unless you're incredibly lucky and you live somewhere where you've not got that problem. So, what are we looking to achieve with this, apart from this, that is going to be better? And the answer is, we are going to allow the gutter to clean up to get the maximum value from it. So, somebody coming to clean your gutter out will be able to get their hands in, uninhibited by gutter brushes or gutter guards or anything else that's going to trap the dirt in. It's very, very easy to get your hands in and clean the dirt out. That, the fact that most of this will have flowed away quite naturally, is going to increase the amount of time you have to go before you're getting your gutter cleaned out. So there's an instant saving there, A, on any gutter products like a gutter brush or a gutter guard, B, on the service intervals between having somebody to come and do it, and it's going to, in the worst case scenario, let's say you were to ignore your service intervals on cleaning your gutter out, the dirt will build up and build up and build up and build up and it will build up to here. Now here's the key difference. On the standard gutter filters, they all seem to have this black thing right here. Now that's a wasted opportunity because let's imagine that this is now filled up chock a block to this point here. We we'll turn it that way, you can see that the water could fill up, if this was blocked up, could fill up to the brim and eventually come over the edge. But it's not going to, because we've left this. This is a key feature, a 20 or 25 millimeter hole here, where even in the worst case scenario, the dirt builds up and up, a leaf comes on it, and as the water comes up, it would simply lift off and the water would go down anyway. I mean, there's going to be a point where it, even that won't work, but the point is, it's yet another redundancy feature built into a much improved design. So it's the safety valve, if you like, of the gutter guard. So you're going to get absolute maximum lifespan out of this. As you can probably tell, this is just a 3D print and I've got the files and everything ready to go. It's designed to be sturdy and a usable item on its own. So it's not a throwaway item, it's designed to be used, reused, taken out, clean, put back again. And I'll show you how that fits in different style of guttering. So here you have a half round gutter, which is probably one of the smallest and most common home gutters. It goes inside like that. It still has everything that we talked about in the other, but it's now sitting, if I was to be critical, slightly too high. What you do in that case is you knock off the correct amount of adjustment that you want. Again, this is designed to be a more professional product than, than perhaps this fire and forget, but it's going to work three, four times better easily, in my opinion. So you've got these adjustable legs here, which you're gonna, you're gonna cut down. I'm not gonna cut them down now, but I'll show you how that would work. Imagine these are your height adjusters and these are the legs that are going to go inside the pipe that we talked about earlier. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna imagine that we've cut that down. And I'm just going to butcher it inside so I don't have to cut it down. But that's effectively what would happen. 
you've cut it down the legs now go inside and you've got a height adjustment on this thing to pretty much the correct height so that's the way that that would fit again it goes the legs go inside there would only be potentially the three legs go inside you can see i've just rammed it in so that would work also but you could fit it professionally and properly and have it sitting at any height you like it's user adjustable we've not made we've not made the decision for the user it's to be professionally fitted to the correct height so if you, you could cut it high and go as low as you like but that's from the largest profile this one here which is go straight into in my opinion all the way down to the smaller profile square line is no different it would go in it sits on the edges as you like and again it could be cut down and rammed in to fit outside bore of this as well just so that you know even in the worst case scenario will not just go down the hole and be lost down your pipe and have you cleaning all the pipe work out because therein lies a cost in itself there are of course very very unusual and unorthodox pipes and you can't get a product that's going to work with everything absolute perfection but even this very unusual gutter you can normally find if you're a professional anyway a way to fit it and you would cut those legs down or maybe apply a little bit of heat them to them and get them to fit in there as well so it's pretty much as far as i'm concerned a universal product ready to go this isn't the first iteration i've come up with i've done a lot of testing to get something i think will work majority of the time perfectly so there you go that's this product that's why it's different to everyone else's and that's why i think it's a winner